What you printing? Okay, maybe that tagline needs a little bit of work, but uh, welcome to episode three of What You Printing. Well, today I'm printing out the uh, club that Ayla uses from Chrono Trigger. And by uses, I mean she uses it in like FMVs and stuff and not in the actual game. But hey, you kind of need that for a cosplay. And uh, I ran off element, so that's cool. And I just noticed back here I need to clean up a little bit, but I, I am not going to touch this right now because uh, I want to try to figure something out. Because I got mixed results uh, looking this up on Google. Can I just like leave this turned off because I want to wait two days for like an Amazon order to arrive and the printer to be running all that time. Can I just like uh, keep this here? Not t not touch it, not budget, and see if it prints like well like afterward, or watch we'll it start all over. Uh, let's find out in a couple days, shall we? And by a couple days, I mean right now. I ran out of filament one hour before the print was done, and look, it's, look how thick it is. Look how much filament was used. Uh, this can't this can't go to waste, right? So I was looking this up on Google to see if I can just keep this turned off and wait a couple of days for my Amazon order to arrive. My question is, can I just leave this turned off? No power delivered to it to, like, you know, save electricity and keep the print on this bed undisturbed for two days straight and resume printing afterward with a new filament and the print hurts out fine. Or we'll have to start over. Let's find out. So, yeah, let's see if this works. We got the uh, filament all loaded up. It seems to be heating up, so, uh, yeah. Let's see if this will be, uh complete or about to start all over. Huh. Yeah, this came out like uh, pretty flawlessly. I was kind of worried because like some sources like said uh, it would kind of look a little weird or awkward, but uh, you can't really tell, which is nice. That said, these trees have been on here for a few days. Hopefully they're easy to remove. Uh, so let's find out real fast as well. Yeah, pretty easy to uh, rip off, and uh, there's definitely some, you know, like, uh, scuffing here, but I do have a sander. I can just, you know, smooth it out a little bit. That being said, I just noticed that uh, there's this, like, you know, noticeable line, like, between, you know, the uh, initial print and the uh, print I resumed after a couple of days. So, yeah, it is a little bit problematic if you, uh, you know, resume your print, like, a couple of days later with the power off. That being said, this is like a tree branch like prop, so it kind of like works in my opinion, you know, it kind of just adds to it. Yeah, uh, be sure to have extra filament or, you know, actually track your filament, unlike me. Or like start over if this really bothers you, but in this case, you know, I, I call this a win.